Once again, the advantage in the war on brain decline, arm yourself with a toothbrush. It might sound surprising, but your daily dental routine isn't just about fresh breath or a winning smile. It could be the key part to protecting your brain as you age. I'm Janet McConnell, longevity and wellness speaker. And if you're over 50 and you're looking for ways to stay strong, sharp, and independent for the long haul, this is for you. Today, we're talking about something most people overlook, the mouth-brain connection. I'm going to cover what the research shows us and give you three steps to protect your brain. Let's get right into it. Research now shows that poor dental hygiene is linked to cognitive decline, memory loss, and even Alzheimer's. And here's why. Gum disease creates chronic inflammation, and that inflammation doesn't just stay in your mouth. It can travel through the bloodstream. It affects your whole body, but it's right next to your brain. So that gets the brunt of it. There are specific bacteria that hang out in the mouth. One is like uh, Porphyrominus gingivalis. It is found in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Don't worry, you don't have to remember the name. All you have to remember is it's a house guest that you do not want hanging around upstairs. In fact, multiple long-term studies that show people with severe gum disease or tooth loss are more likely to experience cognitive decline. One study followed over 6,000 older adults and found a significantly higher risk of dementia among those with poor oral health. Now, here's the thing. Most people don't think of brushing or flossing as part of their brain health plan. They think of it as cosmetic, even optional. Nothing to worry about right before the dentist visit. But when we ignore the mouth, we're missing a key piece of the puzzle on longevity. As we age, neuroinflammation becomes one of the biggest risk factors for memory loss and neurodegeneration. And your gums, if infected or inflamed, could be one of the main contributors. So easy to avoid. Remember, this isn't about perfection. It's about awareness and simple prevention. So what can you actually do? Well, here are three science back steps that you can start today. First one, brush thoroughly once or twice a day, not just a swipe and go. Use a soft bristled toothbrush and take at least two minutes. Electric toothbrushes can be more effective, especially as dexterity changes with age. Floss every time you brush. Floss like your life depends on it. Flossing clears out the places your toothbrush can't reach. And those are the sneaky little bacteria that love to hide just under the gum line. And yes, even if flossing hasn't been your thing in the past, it's not too late to start. Get flossing. And the third one, which seems obvious, and I know it sounds like your mother speaking, but see your dentist regularly. Even if you've avoided the chair for years, get back in there. Cleanings remove hardened plaque. You can't reach it home. More importantly, your dentist can detect early signs of gum disease long before you feel the symptoms. Bonus tip, eat a healthy, brain-healthy diet that supports your oral microbiome. Think crunchy vegetables, less refined sugar, and more whole foods that naturally help clean your teeth and reduce inflammation. I always say aging isn't really the enemy. Entropy is the slow decline that happens when we stop paying attention to the little things. Here's the truth, and you've probably heard me say this before if you're a fan of my channel, but healthy longevity isn't about dramatic changes. It's built in on simple daily habits like brushing your teeth and awareness and intention. Your toothbrush may be your most underappreciated weapon to fight with for a sharp, resilient mind. So don't just brush your teeth for your smile. Brush your teeth for memory, independence, and your future. Coming up next, we are going to tackle supplements, the hype, the pitfalls, and which ones are a real win in the healthy aging battle. 
if you've ever stood in front of that wall of bottles and thought, which one's legit? Which one's for me? Which one's going to be worth the bang for the buck? If this was helpful, make sure to hit subscribe and leave a comment below. What is one of daily habits that you have learned that can impact your brain health? Your brain, it's worth fighting for. See you next time.